Okay, so for this demo, we are going to go over gesture drawing. And unlike the contour and the blind contour drawings that we were doing before, gesture is basically the complete opposite. So instead of heading straight for the specifics, really slowing down your eye and slowing down your pencil movement, gesture is all about working very general to very specific. Right? So you start with the general, you kind of block things in really quickly. Helps to have a very light pencil. So I'm going to be working with my HB pencil and my 2B pencil in tangent in just a second. Um, but, you know, it's all about that kind of quick thought process. So the most important thing is to not worry about too much of the detail. So whereas the contour, we were trying to get every nook and cranny of the leaf. This is the moment where you guys really want to just like go for it. It's okay if the placement is 100% correct. It's okay if your angles aren't 100% correct. You're just gonna go for it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to fill out my whole plant, right? So my plant's probably, with the pot, maybe about a foot tall, it's not very big. Um, you know, and maybe about like eight inches across, right? So if it helps to set up your page, you can set some markers. Now, normally I would flip this around if I was trying to fill the whole page, but for demo, you know, for demo reasons, I want to just do it this way so it's easier for me to flip through some pages. Um, but I'm going to set for 30 seconds. Now, when we do this in class, you guys might get like 10 to 15 seconds to start with. And it's not a punishment by any means. It's just to kind of train your brain to like make those quick decisions and just roll with it, knowing that you can go back and edit them later. Right. So it's about the essence of the thing. The essence. The essence of what you see and not necessarily... 100%, you know, every single detail, right? So it's about capturing like, almost like the heart of what you're seeing. So I'm gonna set my timer for 30 seconds and I'm gonna go from there. So with gesture, it's gonna help to hold your pencil, not like this, not even at the contour, but really back here. So this is gonna loosen me up. It's gonna force me to make quick decisions. It's gonna force me not to care about, you know, any kind of mistakes that I might have. So just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna hit start. And so I'm just going to kind of work very fast, get the openness of the pot that I see. Maybe that's a little bigger. You guys can see I have about 20 seconds left. So here's some branches. You don't even really have to pick your pencil up too much. There's a kind of leaf. There's one. There's a bunch of leaves up here. I'm just doing kind of single lines. 30 seconds really isn't a lot of time. And this is one, too, that, you know, instance-wise, maybe your eyes don't even really go off off your page. All right, so you guys saw how quick 30 seconds was. Now, does this look like maybe, you know, a child did it? Absolutely. But it's still plant-esque, right? You can kind of see that there's a pot, there's something happening. But if I were to go back into this, I could work from this and be like, okay, so maybe my spacing wasn't too bad. Take a little bit darker of a pencil, maybe correct my opening. And so gesture is a good place to kind of start, especially if you don't have a lot of time to capture something. So like when we do figure drawing, you know, the model sometimes moves, people move if you're working anywhere from life. See, I'm going to reassess this. This was a little bit bigger. You know, nine times out of ten, you're not going to have the opportunity to like, unless you photograph that reference first, things are going to move, right? So if you're trying to do something, you know, maybe in a car or you're sitting somewhere in like a park and trying to capture what you see, you're going to have to do this quickly, right? So gesture is really helpful if you only have it for a split second and then can go back to it. So I'm going to flip my page. I'm going to double my time now. That doesn't necessarily mean that I want people to, you know, take a leisurely stroll and go any slower. No. And so what can help too if gesture is something that's really unfamiliar to you and you're not used to thinking so on your feet or you're not comfortable making like a bunch of marks like in my other drawing that I have like I could erase some of these like this I'd probably turn to shading or erase right so it's okay to lay down marks you're not necessarily going to keep but what I'm going to ask some of you to do is to hold two pencils at once this is going to create two lines at once just going to open you up that much more so I'm going to start with one minute and go so the same kind of idea I'm holding my pencil really back far and the benefit to doing multiple iterations of the same gesture is that 
you're going to get more familiar with that object. So each time that you draw it, it's going to get better and better, right? So I like to have the two pencils. I think it helps me open up in the beginning, especially if you're anywhere nervous or you just like, you know, it just forces you, okay, now it looks like a mess. Now I can take my 2B pencil. I've got half my time and I can start reassessing, you know, maybe this, this needs to be a little sharper. Start adding in some of those petals. And so it's the essence of what you see without having too much specific specifics. It's the character of the thing. All right, so you can see that still isn't a whole lot of time, right? So, you know, those 30 second minute long gestures are gonna go by really quickly. But you know, now I have a foundation, right? So gesture's really good for that. Now I push down really hard on my pencil. I like to be pencils. So, you know, you can still do gesture and not be so quick thinking, right? Those fast times are usually kind of like that. I'm gonna put two minutes on, kind of talk through. So, you know, gesture doesn't always have to be so scribbly. I love it when it's like that, especially if you're working with charcoal just because it's a great way to kind of loosen you up. But it's almost like a sketchy kind of path without having too many extra lines. It just kind of opens you up to the, the idea of the drawing I'm a little bit above my pot. If you guys are wondering why my lip of my jar is so big. Kind of see more of the open area. It's a little down from me. You guys can see that I'm still implementing gesture, but just in a more controlled kind of way. Got this open part the little kind of lid thing that goes around. All right, time for the plant. Maybe the other side, the inside of the pot this time. Gesture's good for kind of ground cover too. And so you can see that unlike contour, you guys are kind of making those quick decisions, but I'm really using more of a continuous line which is good because it kind of like gets me to make those fast decisions. You know, I have somewhat of a pot like thing, especially if you guys are, you know, asked to gesture value really fast, you're going to have to really kind of bear down, get a big pencil, a B pencil, and just kind of go for it. Right. So adding a few of these in when I got 30 seconds left and you know, gesture, not everything that you guys will do is going to have that strict time limit. Right. But it's a really good way to kind of open your, eyes up to the possibilities of what you can get done in a short amount of time and still have it kind of look like a thing that you might want to keep and it's just kind of therapeutic this way of working getting more of these out here so am i going for every leaf absolutely not this isn't contour, this is the essence of a thing, right? So you see that each time I do this, I'm getting a little step further, a little bit more accuracy, but this is a good start, especially if you're tackling more than one object. I know I'm just tackling my plant in this one, but if you're tackling, you know, several objects or a whole still life, starting out with something like this, where you're kind of blocking in your shapes, this is a lot easier to push around and kind of adjust and be like, oh, that line's not there. Look, that's a hundred percent improvement already, as opposed to something that's a little more even ground in or contour based. Once you start adding in those like really thick lines, like this kind of contour, like my blind contour and contour, these are a little bit harder to erase, right? So if you keep it loose, keep it light, keep it gestural, I can push this around without having to feel so bad about my commitment to the idea, right? So gesture in a nutshell, um, and we'll go from there.